Alright, well, uh, good morning, class! How are you today? Uh, I don't know if you can notice, but it's very sunny outside today. Uh, it's about 85 degrees here in uh, uh, Sebastopol, California. Uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's do this problem, because you're watching this video to learn something. I'm making this video to teach something, so together we're going to be able to achieve our goals. So, uh, here we go. We want to solve for x. The issue is that x is on both sides of the equal sign. That's no problem. Not for us. And you see, the beauty of this problem, and the beauty of a lot of algebra problems, is that there's so many ways to go about answering it. So I'm just going to pick one, but if you're doing it a different way, that's more power to you. We should always get to the same answer. So let's, let's look at this. Uh, my first plan is always going to be to get rid of one of my variables first. I don't want to x on both sides of the equal sign. I only want it on one side of the equal sign. I want my final answer to be x equals something. So I need only one x. Now, this is a 3x and a 5x. I'm always going to get rid of the smaller of the two. So because 3x is less than 5x, I'm going to get rid of the 3x. How do you get rid of 3x? A positive 3x just subtract it out. Now it's gone. Notice I did it to both sides of the equation because it's an equation, meaning both sides are equal. Meaning if you take away 3x from one side, you've got to take it away from the other side too. Now look, look what I got left. Negative 5 is equal to 2x plus 11. We got this. You want to get x all by itself. Right now, you're multiplying x by 2 and you're adding 11 and the result is negative 5. So, let's get rid of that add 11. We want to get back to that x, so let's subtract 11 from both sides. Ooh, negative 5 minus 11. Oh, uh, take away 5 and then take away 11 more gives me negative 16 is equal to 2x. Oh, you know this, that's the home run right there. I'm just going to switch it around and tell you that x it's equal to negative 8. That is how we do it. Now, isn't that beautiful? Ain't that beautiful? Uh, let's do another problem together. And you know what I'm going to say with this next problem? Right after I write it on the board, I want you to, or right after, after I find it, oh here it is. Um, right after I write it on the board, pause the video and, and give it a shot. Because that's how you're going to learn. Give it, a, give it a shot, make a mistake, it's all good, no worries, you're not being graded here, and just see what you can do. So pause me right now and see what you can do. Assuming you hit play, let's talk. Uh, like I said, right now, if you wanted to get rid of the 3, you could. If you wanted to get rid of that X, you could. I mean, there's a lot of options. But our last strategy was to get rid of the x's first, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to that strategy. Now, this is a 10x. That's a negative 1x. I'm always going to get rid of the smaller, and the negative number is always smaller than a positive number. So, I'm getting rid of minus 1x. And how are we going to do that? Well, just plus x. See ya. Ain't no more x's there. Ain't no more x's there. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, you're like, Mr. Miller, you ain't done yet. You gotta do it to both sides of the equation. You're right. You're dead on. You're money. So I got 10x plus x gives me 11x plus 3 is equal to 14. I think we got this. I wanna get that x all by itself. So now my best move is to get rid of the 3 because my goal is to get to the x. 3 minus 3, that's 0, holla, that's gone. So I got 11x is equal to 14 minus 3 is 11. Okay, so we got some whole numbers here. Don't always end up with whole numbers, but when we do, it feels, maybe it just feels a little extra sweet when you, uh, when you end up with a nice whole number, especially, especially like that number 1, right? That number 1 right there. Look at this. What did we do? First thing is we got rid of one of the x's. It didn't matter. I could have subtracted 10 from both sides, but I wanted to go for the smaller one. Got rid of that. Only had this, this one variable. So I got rid of the 3, then divided out the 11, and boom! Money. All right. Last one, last one, last one. Okay. 
I know you're busy, I'm busy. I, I get it, I get it, I get it. I, I get it. You know, we all, we all learn algebra for our own, our own reasons. Uh, I'm telling you, x on both sides of the equal sign is an extremely powerful thing because, I, 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 okay, first pause it, first pause it, and uh, try this problem. Don't worry about this distributive. Just do the distributive. Unpause. All right, here we go. I see this, and the first thing I'm going to do is distribute this 2. And I'm left with 5x minus 7 is equal to 2x plus 2. This is so powerful. Look, this is where these two functions intersect. If I had, if I had one equation that equaled 5x minus 7, and another one that equaled 2x plus 2, this is where they intersect. So watch, how are we going to do this? Our goal on the first two problems was to get rid of the x first, so I'm still going to do that. And as a rule, I was always taking the smaller of the two. So that 2x, see you later. You gone. You gone, brother. I'm going to take it away from both sides, though. 5x minus 2x is equal to 3x minus 7 is equal to 2. All right, we cool. I got my plus 7 here. Now we just rolling, right? Now we on cruise control, right? So I got 3x is equal to 9. Oh man, this is money in the bank. Let's just uh, cash out right here. And I'm going to end it up top. x is equal to 3. This is power, okay? I'm going to have to hopefully at some point do a video where I explain why this is so important. But for now, this is the mechanics of how to solve uh, the equation. I hope you learned a little something. I encourage you to try more problems. I actually encourage you to, to try it, but try it a different way. Don't get rid of the 2x. Next time, try to get rid of the 5x and see you should end up with the same answer. You should have a beautiful day because you're a beautiful person. Take care, all right?